This is Michael J. Fox. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Learn more about the Michael J. Fox Foundation's work and how you can help speed a cure at michaeljfox.org. This is Dave Iverson. If you have Parkinson's disease and have sometimes felt lightheaded or dizzy when moving from a seated position to standing, you may be experiencing something called orthostatic hypotension or fluctuating blood pressure, a common Parkinson's ailment. In our research, in patients with moderate and advanced Parkinson's disease, we found orthostatic hypotension in 39% of the patients. Dr. Anna Holler is a movement disorder specialist and associate professor of neurology at Boston University Medical Center. She says that orthostatic hypotension is defined as a drop in 20 milliliters in systolic blood pressure, that's the top number, when going from a sitting to standing position, or a drop in 10 points in dystolic pressure, the bottom number. And while that drop in pressure often triggers lightheadedness or weakness in the legs or dizziness, not everyone who has the condition experiences those symptoms. So blood pressure regulation and problems with blood pressure aren't always noticed by the patients. Half of the people who actually have orthostatic hypotension don't have any symptoms. And even if patients don't have symptoms, they can have problems with their thinking, their balance, and their walking related to these blood pressure changes. So it's something that once somebody is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, they should always have their blood pressure monitored when they go to see the doctor, both sitting and standing. Low blood pressure in Parkinson's disease can be caused by a variety of factors, including problems with the autonomic nervous system, the system that controls functions that normally happen automatically. Patients with Parkinson's disease often have problems with their autonomic nervous system, and that system helps to regulate blood pressure and heart rate, temperature, and a various variety of other issues. When people with Parkinson's disease have trouble with their autonomic system, it's the regulation of the blood pressure in changing position that is often most significantly affected. So when they do the movement from sitting to standing, and particularly if they're standing motionless for a period of time, then oftentimes it's difficult for the body to regulate the blood pressure and ensure that blood flow is maintained throughout the body and in particular going to the brain. So we advocate for a routine monitoring of blood pressure in sitting and standing because we know that by addressing those issues, people can have improvement in their functioning. But addressing the problem is complicated. It requires taking a careful inventory of everything that's going on with a patient because the autonomic system is not the only potential culprit. Patients with Parkinson's disease are on medications, the dopaminergic medications, which can also reduce blood pressure, further compounding the issue. And then if that weren't enough, Parkinson's patients can also have other medical issues. And some patients with Parkinson's disease actually have high blood pressure initially when they're diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. So all of these things need to be evaluated when a patient comes in with a symptom of balance difficulties or lightheadedness or even cognitive changes to be able to best evaluate and manage those individuals. Because blood pressure fluctuations can vary throughout the day, Dr. Holler often starts her treatment protocol with a recommendation that patients get a home blood pressure cuff to see if those fluctuations happen more frequently at different times of day. She also stresses the importance of proper hydration and the use of compression stockings. I try to make sure that they are drinking 40 to 60 ounces of water a day. In some cases, we need to add compression stockings We are big advocates of compression stocking, particularly leg compression sleeves, which are useful not just in Parkinson's patients, but we notice many athletes at the professional level wearing these now too because they help to maintain lower extremity circulation during activities. And then we talk a little bit about other types of maneuvers that individuals can do when they're going from sitting to standing to try and help stabilize blood pressure. So there are specific postures and leg crossing activities, leg movement activities that people can do to help stabilize their blood pressure. If those are ineffective, then oftentimes I'm either going to reduce Parkinson's medications if the patient can tolerate it or add on medications to help bring up blood pressure if the patient cannot tolerate a reduction in their Parkinson's medicines. In our next Third Thursday webinar, we'll focus on the problem of low blood pressure in Parkinson's disease and the strategies patients and doctors can use to combat it. 
To register, visit michaeljfox.org slash webinars. I'm Dave Iverson. This is Michael J. Fox. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Learn more about the Michael J. Fox Foundation's work and how you can help speed a cure at michaeljfox.org.